The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Farnell, Element 14. Oh, it's from Austria. I know exactly what this is. Hello and welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Matt, and this is part two in an ongoing series where we attempt to create the most useless internet-connected IoT-type device ever. In part one of this series, you could see where Clem had started the project and then sent it over to me for testing. What can I do with this thing? Man, I need some inspiration. I need to hit the waves. Check the surf report. Well, who has good waves? Of course North Shore has good waves. North Shore always has good waves. Man, oh, I need to be in North Shore right now. Oh, I've got it. Why don't I make a device that tells me when somebody else is in the place that I want to be? That's right. Yes, I'm going to make a device that tells me when a plane lands in Maui. Let's get started. Amazing hacks. Inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. Okay, so this is a little bit different because Clem has already really built most of the hardware for this. Uh, this is mostly going to be a software project. So uh, really, we're just looking at like just a kind of a software module. So what we need to do is we need to take our flight data and find out when landings at uh, OGG Airport. That's Maui Airport, K-O-G-G Airport. And then we need to somehow get that to the huzzah board. This is going to be a web app, most likely. And then that's going to go to something. Somehow I've got to get from here to Adafruit's IO. And then that will go to the huzzah. I've got to get from here to here to here. This is probably going to be ift. That's an easy one. So this is going to have to be some kind of cloud app to look at this information, determine that there is a landing, and then tell that to IO. It's going to push that to Adafruit IO, which is then going to do an ift thing for the huzzah. That's really the challenge. It's, ju it's just a software issue. And then, of course, once I'm on the huzzah, then I can uh, make Das Blinken Lightsen with an L-E-D and let us know that somebody's in Maui, and I'm not. Pretty simple. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started with the website of it, and we'll see where we go. So if I'm gonna make a, like a flight tracker kind of thing, the first thing I gotta do is actually get some flight data. So uh, best place to start would be the airport website itself. Uh, so we'll search for Maui Airport. And Kalui Airport, uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got all this flight data here. So this just gives us a list of all the arrivals, all the arrivals uh, uh, at the Maui Airport. Looks like it gets updated about every 10 minutes or so. That, so that's apparently about the frequency that you get uh, a landing there. So we're gonna get a little notification probably every 10 minutes. Now that I've got this, just this list, I've gotta figure out how to get this fed into this guy, and I think the best way to do that is going to be with uh, the Adafruit I.O. service. So this is Adafruit I.O., and it's sort of a, uh, it's, it's a web interface, a cloud interface uh, for an API for uh, Adafruit's little uh, Arduino-compatible boards, like this uh, Huzzah Feather. Anyway, so what we're going to do, I think the best way to do this is to have some way, if I have a, a new flight from the airport or landing at the airport uh, it's going to get some signal to Adafruit and we'll turn that into a signal to the board the little feather board 
and that will be our uh, our thing. To start that, I think the best way to do it is probably gonna be using ift. So we we'll go to feeds, uh, this is on my dashboard, we'll go to feeds, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new feed here. We're gonna call it IOT Rock. In description, uh, it's the aircraft uh, monitor for the useless IOT Rock. And create. Okay, so we've got that set up. Now we need to go to a profile. Oh, view AIO key, there it is. So there's my, uh, there's my AIO key, that's, that's the API key uh, to use, and I'm not showing it to you. Uh, it is blurred out right now. You will have your own, so you'll go to uh, your profile and view AIO key uh, to get yours. So there's my AIO key. I'm gonna need that to set up uh, the ift trigger, uh, which I'm going to do right now. So here is ift, uh, short for if this then that, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, anyway, what you're do what it does is essentially it sort of automates sort of like IoT kind of things. Uh, basically, it's just little applets that run in the cloud and connect to other things that connect to the cloud so that you don't have to really work with APIs. You don't really have to mess around with APIs too much because it gets you really bogged down when you're trying to just make things really quickly. So I like to use Ift uh, because it is simple. It's, it's super simple and it, the barrier to entry is really low uh, and it's free. It's free. Yay. But you can do a lot with really powerful if you if you kind of if you're clever with it. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to start a new applet. If this, then that. So if this, I got to figure out what the trigger is going to be. Actually, let's just do a Gmail for now. If I get a um, new email in inbox from airport at Hawaii dot com, <laughs> whatever, I'll, I'll fix that later. Then that, uh, we're going to connect somewhere in, oh, there it is, Adafruit. Uh, so we're gonna connect Adafruit, pop up our little window here, and authorize, fancy. Then we're gonna send data to the Adafruit IO, we're gonna send it to IoT Rock, data to be saved to your feed, uh, add ingredient, subject. Then we'll create the action. I can fix all this later, I'm just setting it up right now. So if I get an email from the feed, then it will send a, a, a ping, essentially, to my Adafruit feed. And then I'll be able to pull that from the Feather. So the Feather will pull uh, Adafruit IO and see if there's anything there. And if there's anything there, then it'll run a little function on the Feather, which will you know, blink a light or do something that uh, will be appropriate. That, that's finished, and all we got to do is uh, let's set up the Arduino code now uh, and then figure out a way to get uh, a notification from the airport over to Gmail. So those are the next two steps. Okay, so here we have the Arduino code. So first off, you want to uh, you want to configure this. Uh, this config.htab, that's your SSID, that's your uh, Adafruit IO uh, username and your key, your uh, API key, uh, the Wi-Fi network, SSID, the, the Wi-Fi password, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's on your configuration there, and uh, that's in this configuration dot or config dot h file. So we include that, and then we'll actually start our code here. What we're doing, we're going to uh, set up our feed to uh, check out Gmail. So we're going to do this Gmail feed. Um, and that is listed on Adafruit IO, like we did earlier, as the IoT Rock. Uh, then we'll start our setup here. Right now, I've just got it doing the built-in LED, but I'll, I'll put an actual pinned LED on there when I put this in together. But uh, uh, pin mode, you're just assigning it as the output. Uh, then we're going to talk to the serial. We'll get a serial monitor going on just so we can see what's going on uh, for debugging right now. Uh, connect to the Adafruit IO. And then we have a message handler, and this is a function, this is the, uh, the handle message function, um, that's going to be called every time there is uh, activity on Adafruit IO, which would be any time that there's activity through IFT, which is whenever we get our email that says that a plane has landed. 
So that's what uh, that's what that's going to do. It'll go. It'll jump down to the handle message function and run our little status blinky light thing. Connecting connection established. Uh, that's that's all just connecting to Adafruit I/O. And then uh, the void loop. It, it really is. It's just this I/O run, which is what you want to have at the beginning of your your loop. Uh, and it all it does is just uh, it just pulls the uh, Adafruit I.O. for changes. And that's all it does. And here's the handle message. This is the handle message um, function. And all it's all it's doing is going to say, someone landed in the serial, which we're not going to be monitoring because this is all going to be headless. And But all it's doing is just blinking the light. It's just blinking light, blink, 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 blink. That's all it's doing. Uh, so it'll blink the light five times, and that's it. It'll blink the link five times every time that a plane lands. So very simple sketch, uh, just using the, using the Arduino um, Adafruit I.O. Uh, libraries. And there you have it. So now we need to get uh, from the, uh, now we get to get from our airport data, we've got to get that to IFT, um, but somehow with an email. I, um, so to do that, uh, there's a little one missing piece and we'll take a look at that. So here we are back on our airport website and taking a look at this, let's see, let's take a look at the inspector here. And if we come down, so there's a line, this, this div class, but if we can go up, I want to see what kind of structure this is. Aha! It's an iframe, which if you know your HTML, an iframe um, basically builds a website within a website. Um, so you can call another website and place it inside of your website. So this iframe, this gives me an address here, uh, the source address. So I'm gonna copy that and open it in a new tab. Bingo! So this is the original page right here. This is the, this is the source material that we're looking at. So um, let me see here. Let's look at this page. And then it seems that it's all just adding new lines onto, yeah, it's just adding new lines into this like big nested table kind of deal. So, T body table. Yeah, this is, this is a table. That's all this is. So every time there is a new flight landing, there's a new line in the table. All we have to do is monitor this site for changes in that table, or we can interpret changes on this table as planes landing. So uh, every time this is updated, uh, there should be a plane landing. Thus, we need some kind of a service to monitor this website for us and send us an email whenever there is a change to the site. And there just happens to be a few of those. I like this one because it's super simple. This is visualping.io and they monitor web pages. That's what they do. And the cool thing is you can do, you know, like you can monitor web pages uh, visually, you can monitor them, you can monitor the actual HTML. I just like doing it visually because, you know, if the, with the HTML, you know, you can do a lot of back end changes on the HTML and that'll, that'll give you false positives. But the front end, if the front end changes, you know it's changed, especially on this because it's literally just a table. That's all this is. So any visual changes to this table are going to indicate a, a plane landing. And as you see, I've, I've got it set up here. I've already, uh, I've already been playing with this. So what you want to do is you create a new job. Uh, you enter the address. It's going to grab a snapshot of it. It's going to send a notification to your email. And uh, so we're just going to tell it to look for, I don't know, maybe the first like, you know, five lines ish. So here is my, here's my active inactive job. Uh, go ahead and make that active by hitting the play button and it's going to now start checking and it will send me an email every time that there is a, uh, every time there's a change to that page. And that will be our proxy for finding out if a plane has landed. And you see here that you get a, uh, you get a little email uh, every time there is a, uh, we've noticed a small change and they highlight everything in red. So that's all I care about is just the fact that there is a change. So we're gonna take this email address, this hello at visualping.io, and we're going to uh, we're going to edit a little if thing. Let's save that. So plane lands goes to visual ping. Visual ping sees the change. 
sends an email. Ift picks up the email, sends it over to Adafruit. Featherboard picks it up from Adafruit and flashes the LED. Convoluted, roundabout, but it works. So now, now that I've got everything kind of put together on the software side, it's time to uh, add an LED, maybe a little visual interest here on the, uh, on the rock, and let's get this thing put together. So we got some double A's here. It's in just like that. We've got our, our JST connector in right there and turn it on. Set it up right there for now. And now we just wait for a plane to land. Cause I'm a pilot, jet pilot, yeah. When I'm at the bar, I wave my hands in the air. And I'll tell you all about me, even if you don't care about plane landed. Fantastic. So it's blinking. So now it works. And uh, so there we go. It's, it's, it's doing its thing. So it's telling us that a plane has landed in a place that, well, I'm not. So um, pretty useless. <laughs> oh boy. So there we have it. Now we have an IoT device, a rock that will break your router and let you know when a plane lands in Maui. So what other useless things should we add to the most useless IoT device ever? Let us know in the comments at element14.com forward slash presents. You can also find out about upcoming episodes, events, contests, and much, much more. My name is Matthew. This has been Element 14 Presents. And uh, until next time, tally ho, y'all.